How can a resentful person forgive? Real talk with Cherry Mahogany. And I am speaking about myself. So, forgiveness is a word that we have all heard many, many times. And anyone that's working on their healing journey are bombarded with the words to forgive and to let it go. However, that is not my nature. My nature is to be a bitter, resentful, possibly even a hateful person to those that have hurt me. And I have a habit of harboring pain and having reoccurring memories about certain things that have occurred. So if you're anything like me, then this message is for you. Now as a believer, the question for me and all of us is how do we resolve being resentful when we are commanded to forgive? So I'll tell you a quick story. I went to a Bible study with my husband several years ago at a church. The leader of the Bible study said that we are required to forgive and forget. So I'd never seen anything about forgiving and forgetting in the Bible. So I asked him, how can you make yourself forget something? He didn't have an answer because there is no way to make yourself forget something. So I want to be completely honest with myself. And one of the biggest problems I had with the people that I needed to forgive was that they were not honest. They acted like the situation never occurred or they minimized the situation, they changed it, or they just minimized it to the point where I would have been overreacting to be traumatized from it. That type of dishonesty and lying has made me very anti-pretense. I need to be 100% honest with myself. And if I hadn't and haven't truly forgiven someone about something, then I need God to help me through that instead of pretending like the pretenders have done and like I did when I swept everything under the rug just so that I could say okay I forgive you let's let bygones be bygones I'm a good person I don't want to do that anymore I want to truly forgive and I want to truly trust that God is going to heal me fully I don't want to pretend and play games trying to present myself as some goody two-shoe Christian which is a lie because I'm not one so I was reading in the book of Ephesians in the Bible Ephesians 4 32 it says be kind to one another compassionate forgiving one another just as God in Christ has forgiven you I can truly say that this verse, the part where it says forgiving each other, just as God in Christ has also forgiven me, has helped me tremendously because I do know I deserve to be thrown into hell for the sins that I've committed and for the disobedience that I've had against God throughout my life and the things I've done against the Lord. But because of Christ, He's made a way for me to have amends with God the Father. That, that has made me realize that because I'm born again, that is part of the main reason that I can forgive others who have hurt me. Now the other verse that has helped me, and this is probably the reason that I'm able to truly forgive, is Romans 8.28. It says that, for we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. So if that is the truth, and I truly believe that is, as I look back at my life, I would have to say that all things must have been assigned for me to somehow draw me closer to God, somehow work together for my good, even if the enemy was working through a person to hurt me or to try to destroy me, somehow it drew me closer to God. And I can say that in those times of weakness, when I fall into my knees and I've cried out to God, it has drawn a relationship between myself and the Lord that I never would have had if those things had not occurred. So since all things work together for my good, which the Bible does say, 
that would include any pain that I've experienced that drew me closer to God and has given me an unshakable faith and trust that I never would have had if I hadn't cried out to him. And he heard my cry all those times. So on a beautiful note, I will leave this. I am a child of God and I want to spend all of eternity with the Lord God. When I take my last breath, I pray that I would spend the rest of eternity with God. And I pray the same for everyone that I've ever crossed paths with, those that have blessed me, those that have hurt me, and those that have done both, blessed me and hurt me. I pray that everyone will come to the realization and the understanding that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man will come to the Father except through him. And I do pray that the relationship that I have with God and the experiences that, that I've had will somehow affect the people that I've interacted with throughout my life. And they will also come to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So in that way, yes, I have forgiven. I have forgiven because I am forgiven. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.